over here in the White Cloud Mountains, head into Bighorn Basin. There is a strong smell of sulfur at this trailhead. There's an abandoned mine up ahead, and uh, it's raining. There's going to be some thunderstorms. The trailhead's also empty. There's actually a hot spring here. Lacey says it's really hot. Now the old abandoned road is not the way to go. When you reach the wilderness sign, uh, stay low. Kind of start switchbacking up. I knew that was kind of too soon. So I went off trail downhill. Found the actual trail down this way. So right now we're going off trail to get back onto the trail. I wish I could describe how good everything smells right now after this much needed rain. All these dry trees are fermenting and it smells amazing. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Little guy. So we just crossed this creek here, kind of lose the trail a bit in here. Kind of looked like it went this way into the uh, willows, but it actually is, goes along this washout. Barely see it. Wraps around, back up, getting closer to the lake. Just straight up carnage on these slopes. Lots of avalanches. Lacey and I are at the lake's head wall. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it's pretty decent grade to get it up to the top. Those birds aren't happy with us. Well, Lacey and I both just heard a howl off in that direction. Maybe we'll see some wolves, who knows. Here's the other lake we're not going to.
tell you what, the camera's having a hard time capturing how massive these mountains are. Hey, Lacey and I are now in off-trail mode. We are heading for Bighorn Basin now. There is a trail, or was a trail to Bighorn Basin. I can't find it. There's a lot of avalanche debris. But the forest is open. So the start of Bighorn Basin is right by this V here. That's what we're shooting for, that little canyon. And then it should go up that way. We could wrap around to the high meadows up in here. At least that's the plan. The view's got beyond incredible, this cross country leg. came out through there. There's the V waterfall probably in June. Big walls. And the start of Bighorn Basin. Found a nice spot to set up camp. Uh, it's a lot of shelter. There's some big thunder booms coming in uh, from the west, and uh, I'm gonna scramble to get our stuff set up. <laughs> this is a cool spot with a good view over there. This does have a lot of cover. Not as much as this, but it's pretty good. Pretty far Change of plans. So Lacey and I just got set up, not completely, but at least the tent up and anchor down in the nick of time. Holy crap. That is a crazy storm that just come in. You can hear it. The air pad, this guy. Gust of wind caught it right when it got blown up and it went flying. Lacey ran it down and was able to get it. Absolute hero move. Holy crap, what a storm. It came in a different direction than what I was looking. It is not nighttime, it is only, I think, 4.30. Uh, storm still sitting over us. Lots of hail, lots of thunder. We got set up just <coughs> in time and uh we had to rotate the tent because the wind was so intense it was uh collapsing it so we had to rotate it and luckily it's actually pretty flat so I'm pretty well covered so uh got pretty lucky there like just by the skin of our teeth getting this set up with that storm coming in Woo! that was intense it was definitely up there with one of the more intense storms Lacey and I have ever sat through. I think that was uh, just as bad as our sunrise lake storm, or surprise lake storm in the Schlan Sawtooths. Wow.
Now the storm's passed. Can't tell if it's just a lot of moisture still in the air or if it's smoky. Tons of fire smoke. Oh, the sun just went down. Nice and there. Messing around with the cameras. Spectacular place. Right now, since we're low on water, I don't want to go back down to the lake. There's some leftover snow right here. So we're going to walk this meadow to go see if there's any streams leaking off of it. Approaching the moment of truth, that little piece of snow has a little tarn below it. If not, we're gonna have to conserve some of our water. We had to work with was this little tiny stream. Didn't get much. It's gonna plug the filter a few times with all the sand in it, but we need the water. Good morning, it is day number two. Uh, in that last shot you saw of uh, my wife coming down from the scree field with the lights, it took us about, it got dark like crazy fast, like the fastest I've ever seen it for such an open area. And it took my wife and I like 20 minutes to find our tent. Didn't know where we were like using our uh, cameras from our last shots, trying to compare like the mountainscape of the view from the tents and we eventually found it, but uh, we are tucked away pretty good in these trees. We normally don't camp too much in the trees as you see in a lot of our other trips. We like being out in the open, so we have views all the time, but all these thunderstorms and all that, the cover is really nice. And uh, flip side of that is uh, when it gets dark out, it's really hard to find your tent. <laughs> but we did. Now it's all nice and sunny today, so we're going to explore a bit before packing up and heading out. going up and 
to this notch right here leads you to a place called Iron Basin. Camp's packed up and we're heading out. One last look of Bighorn Basin. Get the avalanche slope. Straight up carnage. Back at the upper lake. Thank you. 